Hi, I'm Fraser Douglas, the avid tent camper. In this video, I want to show you the highlights of our recent trip to the Pickensville Army Corps of Engineers campground located on the Alabama-Mississippi state line about 50 miles west of Tuscaloosa, Alabama and about 20 miles southeast of Columbus, Mississippi. On Monday, October the 3rd, Ava and I drove to Tuscaloosa, Alabama to meet my brother-in-law, Tom, and my sister, Jean. We ate a good breakfast at the City Cafe in Northport and then drove to Carrollton to see the image of a prisoner that was supposedly etched in a window of the courthouse. We couldn't see it, but it was a nice stop. We arrived at the Pickensville campground about noon. The entrance station was closed, but a sign instructed us to go ahead and find a campsite and come back and register at a later time. The campground is located along the banks of the Tin Tom Waterway, an artificial canal that was completed in 1985. The canal connects the Tennessee River to the north with the Tom Bigby River to the south and cut off 800 miles of waterway from East Tennessee to the Gulf of Mexico. The campground has 176 sites that are divided amongst three loops and three spurs. We selected site number 126 located right on the shore of the waterway and set up our camp. After setting up our tents, I set up my hammock and relaxed for a little while. Ava, Tom, and Jean began fishing and within a fairly short period of time they were able to catch several fish including this flathead cat pit fish. We were surprised when a four foot long water snake tried to get into the basket to get our fish. After supper, the mosquitoes came out in droves and we realized that we needed to either apply mosquito repellent or get inside of netting. Well, it's a beautiful morning. Tommy and Jean have already started fishing. Ava and I are still in bed. It was a cool night last night, but no rain, and so we did not put the cover, the rain fly, on the tent. And so we got plenty of fresh air. We're in our Marmot Den tent on this trip. There's Miss Ava. I hear a boat going down the river. We had uh, a few barges last night. That was exciting. And again, there's Jean and Tom out fishing. Yes. I don't want sleeping bags. I prefer my sheet. Look at my sleeping bag. I don't need it. Ava says she doesn't need her sleeping bag. She prefers her my sheet, her and, my sheet blanket. and her Pendleton blanket. I don't like to feel my body, my legs tight. I like to feel free. Tuesday morning, I got up and began cooking pancakes and bacon while Ava, Tom, and Jean tried to catch a little fish. Not bad for an hour's work. We also enjoyed watching a couple of barges pass by our campsite. We enjoyed eating our pancakes and bacon before starting the day. I want to give you a tour of our campsite. We're in site number 126. You'll see we've got a little fishing platform there. Uh, this is the main part of our site. 
our cars are parked here and our tents are set up back behind our cars. You can't see them. You'll see with that we have a nice buffer zone to the right of our site. There's our nearest neighbor. Uh, here's the road coming into the campground loop. Uh, this is the camp host. Here's the bathroom just right across the street from our campsite. The road that continues. And there's our next neighbor. Now as it turns out we have a barge coming down the river and so I want to take you out to watch that. We've had several barges during the night this is a barge you can see how close it is to our campsite coming down the river this one seems to be filled with gravel long barge Hey, Ava! Ava! We had at least four of these barges last night and another one earlier this morning. Temple Huckabee is the name of that barge. Here are our tents. And I'll just show you. Our site has water very close by and electricity Tuesday morning we ate breakfast and then rode down to see the dam and the lock and Tuesday afternoon we cooked our catfish and ate a great fish dinner with potatoes and onions salad and lots of trimmings Wednesday morning we had egg sandwiches and grits and then we rode to the Tom Bevel Visitor Center. We enjoyed looking at the exhibits that showed animals and reptiles that live in the area and the history of the Tenon Tom Waterway. We also enjoyed walking through the USS Snagboat Montgomery it looks like it would have been a fun place to work during the 1960s and 1970s. We wanted to go down to the swimming area, but it was closed for the season. Well, I hope that this video gives you a better idea of the amenities that are available here at this campground and that you might consider this campground as a possible destination anytime you're in the West Alabama area. For more information about good camping destinations in the southeastern United States, please visit my website www.basictentcamping.com and visit my Facebook page Modern Tent Camping. For up-to-date information about modern tent camping equipment, procedures, and destinations, please read my book, Basic Tent Camping. Remember, take more trips, travel further, visit more attractions, and save money. Go tent camping.